Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, da. Here is my new tiger. 1050 Sport, 2013 model. Yes, I couldn't resist the Triumph engine. First ride, please don't kill me. Oh, that triple. Oh, this does slam me back in the seat. Holy balls, it's fast! So yeah, first ride on the Tiger Sport. And wow, wow. I keep finding myself changing gear, but I don't need to. <laughs> no, you're not getting away, Mr. Golf. way too much replay for me. Not really sure where you adjust it. Can hear the exhaust when I do this. I'm at like 20 to 30 and I have my visor open. But I think I'm gonna have to get that SC project exhaust. <laughs> that triple, that's why I got this bike, the triple sound and the triple engine. <laughs> and it pulls like a train. I haven't power wheeled it yet, but I felt the front end get very, very light then. Oh, oh I felt the ABS kick in then. Yep, I felt the ABS kick in. Oh well, I know it works. I was daydreaming. I had to slam the anchors on. Phew! I know that Mr. Roadcraft likes to talk about um, the fuel injection. So this is 30 miles per hour in third gear and it's as smooth as a button. Suspension is um, much better than the Versus, but still, mm, the front fork could do a little bit of a tweak. Around town, very nimble, this is second gear. There is a slight bit of hunting and vibration from the pegs, that are on the pegs though, so I don't know quite if it likes being that low in second. <laughs> Bike is very, very nimble. For the class of bike it is. Oh, oh, a few lights on now. Oh, that's 
an excuse to go back and do some work. So, am I impressed with my, am I happy with my purchase? Yes. There are still some mods I'd like to do to it though. Wow, and things to fix. Number one being the screen. Number two being the clutch being out a little bit too far. The throttle has about five mil too much play in it. And I need a Scott like that. So, home to look at screens on eBay and buy a new one. And yes, check my email and see if Scott will have replied saying, how the hell do you fit one to this bike? Because they only have the V system on their website. And I need to go look at what that home and triangle -y thing on the dashboard do. This seems, the 2013 dash seems different to the 2014. I don't see the miles till empty thing. Which is annoying. I thought they would have been exactly the same dash, but no, they must have improved it for the 2014 model. Oh well, still got a fuel gauge and a fuel light, so... But yeah, so... The triple engine is very nice. I am definitely a convert. It has the the torque of a twin, but the top end power of an inline four. It seems to be the perfect compromise, I think. So I can see why Triumph is very popular and why Yamaha decided to make a triple engine. So you can colour me impressed. I am very happy with the engine. The rest is just tweaks for me as a human being riding it because it's obviously designed for the average person, not somebody who's slightly taller and <coughs> slightly heavier. So that's, that's on me, not on the bike. Um, and then the rest is just adjustments really. Clutch position, throttle, free play. Um, check how you do it on this. So yes, I am a very happy boy. I suppose I'd better go home and do some work because I was only meant to take it for a quick test ride and it's been an hour. Yes, so, whoops. <laughs> but I think the boss understands, uh, yes. You know, everybody in the office is excited to see it when I next go in. But I kind of need to get the screen done because above 50 it's really bad on me. It's kind of pushing you back and... <laughs> yes. I haven't sneezed in my helmet yet, so everything's coming up gold. Catch you guys and gals next time.